Remember that when you do a wide project like this, if it was hard to push the machine across on the, sw on the swatch, it will be much harder to push it across on the wider piece of knitting. Now this was very easy to knit on the swatch, but it's a little more effort with the wider piece of knitting. Plus, I just stand up and walk back and forth on a wide piece like this. Now, I'm actually thinking this is a little bit of a workout to stand up and walk back and forth for hundreds of rows. So, I think I'll get a cold drink, but the fact is that you can knit this up in a really short time because it is so simple. I'm at 300 rows and I've had to move the weights a couple of times, so you have to constantly watch the weights and move them up. I stop every 20 rows to change settings and to keep my place, I always change the settings before I do anything else. I went 360 rows, used up the yarn, almost all of it, and I think the throw is a really nice length. That was about a pound of a very thin rayon chenille. Now what I'm going to do is prepare for the cast off. I set both carriages for plain knitting without changing the tension, and I will knit one row. For a project like this, the smiles and frown cast on would have been great. However, I can't really do smiles and frowns with the yarn that I can't sew with. I know from bitter experience that the chenille will fall to pieces if I pull it through the, the knitting over and over with a needle. So what I'm going to do is one loose row. I'm going to go all the way up from tension two to tension six and a click. And I'm going to knit slowly from left to right. I'm going to make sure I have it loose enough up above as well. And then I'm going to put some waste yarn on. For a project like this, the waste yarn needs to be a contrasting color. And it needs to be smooth enough that it will unravel easy, easily after I do the cast off. Now this is a cast off I showed before. It's the loop through a loop cast off that's done away from the knitting machine. I tied this yarn. So now I've got a latch tool. I'm going to bring it up between the beds and just get hold of the yarn. Bring the yarn down below the machine and hold it securely with a clothespin. Then I'm going to set the machine to do the waist yarn. But I don't want the waist yarn to be loose. So I'm setting both carriages tensions back down to tension 2. Here are the settings once the waist yarn is threaded. You want this lever to be back on R and this side to be on N. And then bring this right hand button up so that this will slip when it goes to the right. So up, R and down. And then up on the main bed, press in the left part button. This way it will knit in circles. To get 10 rows of waist yarn, you need to do 20 passes because it takes two passes to get a row on each side of the blanket. I've cut the waist yarn and removed most of the weight from the knitting and now I'm just going to drop it off. I have a really nice big soft throw that needs bound off along this edge with the green. This is just that loop through a loop bind off that I showed in an earlier river lesson. lesson. I have to start on the very end loop that is the farthest edge from the loose end of the yarn and I just work across going to one side and then the other with my waist yarn folded down so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to do that all the way across on all 199 stitches and it really won't take too long. And then when I get to the other end, I'll pull the end through. This project took a pound of fine rayon chenille this is the 2,000 yards per pound kind, and here's how much is left. Here's the completed project, and I'm quite pleased with it. This is just the kind of soft, luxurious throw that I had in mind. It's a good size, and the chenille worked out very well. Now this is a beginner skill level using your river, and it takes about two hours to make the whole project. I hope you'll try the pattern.